Copy Save Settings is a great way to save or restore all of your custom settings within your SolidWorks user interface to be used at a later date, whether you might be working on a colleague's machine and maybe you're not familiar with their custom setup. You can load your own Copy Save Settings wizard file and then it would be work, acting like you'd be working from your own machine. Or maybe you have to reinstall SolidWorks. You have a newer version and you want to retain all of your custom settings and you don't want to use the factory default settings. You could use the Copy Save Settings wizard to upload all of your custom settings from the previous year. So before I get started, let's just go ahead and make some changes to my user interface up here. Maybe I'll turn off a couple of my default tabs so I only have the uh, features, the sketch tab, and the evaluates tab showing. And then under my customized dialog box, maybe I'll open up my mouse gestures and change it from four to maybe eight. And then the last thing I'll do is just make a change to the user interface, getting rid of the use large buttons with text command so it maximizes my workspace. Now that I've modified a few different things, let's go ahead and launch the copy save settings wizard and it can be found in two locations. One, you can access it from your task pane from the resources button right here, copy save settings wizard. Another place you can find this tool is under the little gear icon right here, save restore settings. It launches the same thing, the copy save settings wizard. Now I have two options here. I can either save my settings or restore from a saved file. Let's go ahead and save my custom settings and it's gonna save it, save it as an an SLDREG file type. It's a very lightweight file. It's a SOLIDWORKS registry file. And then down below, I can choose what type of items I want to save, whether it's my system options, my toolbar layouts, my keyboard shortcuts, my mouse gestures, menu customizations, or any saved views that you might have created. Let's go ahead and browse and save this to my desktop under my Copy Save Settings Wizard folder, and I'll give it today's date. All right, and then I'll hit finish. Now that I'm done, let's go ahead and make some more changes and see how this works. Let's go back to my toolbars tab and then just turn on a bunch of different default tabs. Let's go back to my customized dialog box. Let's bring back my use large buttons with text, even maybe change the icon size. And then one more thing I might do is under my mouse gestures, change it from eight to 12. So I've made a lot of changes. Maybe this would be what my colleague's machine would look like. And when I get to it, I can just choose to upload my own copy safe settings wizard file. Let's go ahead and do that and make all those changes disappear. So I'll come back to my task pane and activate my copy safe settings wizard Instead of saving my file this time, I'm going to restore from that saved file and just browse for wherever it's located. There's my SLD REG file type. I'll open it up and then hit next just to confirm. Now, by default, it might ask you to create a backup of your current settings, but in this case, I'm going to leave that cleared. Let's go ahead and hit finish. SolidWorks will just ask to confirm and I'll hit yes. And now that it's done, you can see all of my settings have been restored to show just the features, the sketch tab, and the evaluates tab. If I go to my customize, you can see my mouse gestures are back at the eight. And everything looks as it should. I hope you enjoyed my copy safe settings, tips and tricks. For any questions about this video or any other SOLIDWORKS related item, please don't hesitate to reach out.